Boxing on Channel 5. Defending his name, his legacy, Harlem Eubank. Battling his way up the super lightweight rankings. Can he remain undefeated? Big Fight Live, Eubank versus Uruskieta, Friday at 10 on Channel 5. This is Cook and Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Manchester here, I'm joined by Ben Whittaker. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you as well, big man. Good to see you, man. I like this get up. It's like a bit of a. Is it a if mismatch? The pan down, you know what I mean? If the camera could pan down, then you'd see what's going on. But, you know, the camo, the white shoes. You know what I mean, you know I got a star, man. You know I got a star. Um, a reaction to a Coley's win tonight. Um, yeah, look, it was a comprehensive win for Lawrence. Um, I suppose the crowd here, a little bit frustrated. We know kind of some of Lawrence's fights can can go that way. Uh, but yeah, look, it is what it is. He got the win. It was a mandatory challenge that probably Lawrence, let's have it right, didn't want, but he got the job done tonight. I bet Eddie's buzzing. I mean, <laughs> now nah, at the end of the day, a win's a win. Uh, David Light, you have to give him props, man. Tough kid. Got wobbled a lot of times in there, but he kept walking forward. And at the end of the day, for me, it was a clean performance for Lawrence. Of course, sometimes you could have got him out there or could have had a bit more urgency, but unanimous decision, keeps the belt, wins a win. Absolutely. There is talk kind of um, speculating for quite some time since, uh, I think, a premiere recently between Lawrence O'Coley and Richard Riappor. Now, that is a fight that we look at as boxing fans and think, yeah, do you know what? That is a fight that we want to see. Yeah, it looks juicy, man. I seen him rolling around at the premiere, man, at Creed. The little pantomime they was doing, it looked quite cute, man. You know what I mean? But um, I'd like to see that fight, to be fair. Both hungry, both from London. So I'd like to see that as well. Let's talk about you. Uh, an imminent ring return is pending. Yeah, let's talk about that. I'm excited, man. May 6th. The card's been announced, but forget the card. It's all about me, man. It's in my hometown as well. Well near enough. So come down, get your tickets and witness something once again. Okay, so no opponent as such yet. We know May the 6th is, is a little bit away, not that far away, but um, yeah, you'll be looking forward to obviously getting the ring and kind of, yeah, just making your progression on last year. 100%, uh, my last one was in Saudi, picked up a little niggle. I've been out for about eight months now. So all it is is about getting back in there, getting the buzz back. And as soon as I get that out of the way, straight back to what I was talking about, titles. Is it a bit early to start asking you about potential opponents that you fancy at this stage of your career? You know me, man. I'll call out everybody and anybody, but uh, at the end of the day, I've got to get the, this one out of the way. First one since the injury, but after that, like I keep saying, British titles, European titles. My, my main man, little Dan, he keeps collecting them for me. It's easy for me, man. He's collecting them all. I just have to take them all. You know what I mean? Um, AJ in action next weekend um, against Jermaine Franklin. You expect AJ to, to get that job done next week? 100%. Uh, new, new coach, new mindset. You know what AJ is like. Swaps and change these coaches, man. Like boxer shorts. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. Franklin is no mug. Uh, decent fight against White. I thought he could have nicked it, to be fair. But I think uh, I'm going with the AJ KO. OK, Ben, listen, we'll catch up with you, obviously, uh, ahead of your return on May the 6th in Birmingham and uh, yeah get home safe and we'll catch up with you again soon mate man, respect man respect May 6th lock in another buddy top man thank you very much I refuse to not be first do we do enough well I never shut up Harry uh, it must have been about 17 16 17 we nicked their guilt rings right the bouncers guilt rings this is no good for me that's the reality if you want the honest truth and I see it every day.